Boker Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just a quick take of our broadcast this morning. Pope Francis will be wrapping up his trip inside of Sweden very soon here, uh, headed back to Italy there. But uh, something that happened there that was very interesting, Pope Francis calls for a revolution of tenderness towards refugees. And if you want to talk about a one world uh, order, a new world order, a one world religion that is the, the catalyst for this new world order, all you have to do is look at what he says here. This was said yesterday on October 31st there when he comes in for his trick-or-treat landing there, Halloween uh, message for um, bringing back the Lutheran Church, the 500-year anniversary of, um, of, the, of the split and bringing them back again into unity. But what's interesting is right after his remarks there, a good friend of mine that lives in Holland sent me an email this morning stating that the Dutch, uh, Dutch radio came out this morning and said no longer are the Dutch people to call foreigners foreigners. He said you're to call them citizens with a refugee background. Of course, it's definitely in line uh, speaking about the refugee crisis that's going on in Europe. And of course, the Pope sitting there saying to have more tenderness toward the refugees. Uh, and he's there in Sweden, where Sweden has one of the biggest crises with the refugee population of any country in Europe to start with. The rapes, the murders uh, that, are, that, are, that are happening in Sweden is, is up unbelievable uh, in numbers. In fact, later tonight I'll try to get you the actual stats on that, uh, but there is a massive amount of increase in rapes and murders. And In fact, uh, I believe it was in Germany just the other day, a 10-year-old girl on her way to school was uh, taken down by a man in his 30s. The German government did not have the audacity to say that it was a refugee, just said a man of darker complexion uh, raped this 10-year-old little girl in Germany. The German government afraid to call out these crimes for what they really are. And now the Dutch radio uh, echoing the words of Pope Francis' visit there in Sweden is saying do not call foreigners foreigners but call them citizens with a refugee background. That's pretty ironic, don't you think? I mean that's clearly letting us know who controls the New World Order. It's the man with the keys, isn't it? And I'd have to say that he has both those keys, the spiritual and political side. I'm Stephen Benoon with a quick take of Israeli News Live. Shalom.